<clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, in a, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set, Stories of the town passed to the pages of fairy tales, and when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Brookport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me, he's so paranoid. I come all this way on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth, it's so stifling. Once in a while, I like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very, um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy? Missy? Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy! Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads! Oh, well, um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that this box holds a map that shows a legendary treasure sleeps, but the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Oh... I know! If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there we have no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? I'll try to open it. Oh my god, what happened? Anyways! Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome to my next Let's Play of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Let's get this started, and let's do this! Yes, I've been looking forward to this for quite some time. It's always great to start a new LP after one ends. But anyways, let's start File the Metal Duh, number two. Let's do this. Anyways, my name, for those of you who don't know, for you new viewers watching, my name is Jamie. Not to be confused with Jaime or any other way of spelling. This is the right spelling. Yes. Let's do this. Saving soon. I don't know how to read this crap because it's saving progress. Anyways. Yes. <laughs> kind of a throwback. Like, just look at all this stuff. Everything looks the same. And even Power Carry still comes delivering our mail after all this time. So awesome. Mail call. <clears throat> Oh man, this is awesome. And here's Luigi, coming to get our mail, just like old times. It is such good times right now. <sighs> I'm happy. Hey bro, check it out, the letter from Princess Peach that arrived for you. Oh my god, that's awful. I'll just read it to you, how's that sound? <clears throat> now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. 
In my travels, I'd come to a possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it wouldn't... But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. Huh, back to her old ways, I see. <clears throat> what do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Huh. I wonder what this map is for. I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> or maybe do I. But anyways. For those of you who don't know, I will say it again. This is Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. A, the sequel to the first Paper Mario game for the N64 made by Intelligent Systems and Nintendo. Yes. Let's do this. <clears throat> Let's just get started. <laughs> I'm so excited! And this is... The Prologue! A Rogue's Welcome! Excuse me, sir? Please wake up, sir! The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport! <clears throat> Sorry, I'm clearing my throat. Nothing's been going my way today. In terms of that, anyway. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare it for the. Yeah. Please prepare to disembark. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed, just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the assorted tales about a rogue port on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you. Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, that's if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. <laughs> but, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Sorry about that. My throat's just being cleared off. Anyway, he thinks we're crazy. And I think I am too, a little bit. But anyways, this is Rogue Port. This is awesome. We have our jumping abilities. And unlike the other game, we get our hammer right away, so we're not looking for it. Sweet. So, let's talk to some of you guys. What do you guys have to say? What do you want, pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I'd remember a princess, probably. What do you want, this chick, anyway, pal? Oh, you money? <laughs> is she your girlfriend? Uh, yes. This is basically the equivalent of our saving. Hit this box to save the events you've experienced so far. Hit one of these, you save your game. Awesome. Just like the other Paper Mario, but anyways. I don't mind saving right now, so let's go! Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around in town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never! I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew! I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Buh! 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 <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you come in, Lord Crump, we're on it! What kind of voice am I giving these people? That's crazy. No, no! Stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream! Really? Okay, I, I better give better voices for the later characters, because that's just not going to cut it for me. But let's just go. Might as well keep the voice that I gave them. Like I go anywhere with these smelling lunatics like you. Hm, not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? I don't even know what's going on, man. God, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb And anyways, here we get started with our first boss. And the beginning of the battle sequence. Let's do this. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't just sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Anyways, this is Lord Crump. And getting to a little introduction of something new that's going to be happening in this LP. Is that whenever you hover over an enemy we never met before with your mouse in a fight like this. 
then you can see his bio. Basically, his bio is going to consist of his HP, his attack and defense, and any special abilities that he might have, or she might have, when you fight, when we come into a new enemy that we never met before, okay? So, just saves time, instead of me doing a bunch of stuff to, you know, whatever. Anyways, here we have our action commands keep stick with us when we fight. So if we press jump, if you press A just before we stomp on the enemy, we do the action command correctly. But if you do, if you do it again, just when you're in the air like that, you do a stylish command. Sweet, you know that hurt. Well, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Um, stylish commands I'll get into a little bit later because as of right now, they're not really useful. You, there's, it, you don't get anything from it. But anyways, keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Now you press A just before he hits you to guard. Basically, it's that same principle. Hammer. And you hold left. You hold left on the control stick until the light shows up, kind of like the first game. But if you hit him, you press A like that, and A again, you do a stylish. You got him on the ropes, come on, keep wailing on him. If you press B at just the right time, it's like a 25 second, like a .25 second window. You press B when he ever hits you, and you do a super guard. Basically you do damage back at him, and you don't take any damage, but it's really hard to do. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you get star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? So basically, she's gonna explain all that, and I don't even have to do that. So, guys, just listen to what she says, and you'll be good to go. Bah! Bah! Well, okay, you got a decent shot, Sid. You got a couple of decent shots, and I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! It's clobbering time! Oh man, punish him! Oh man, there, I got, we got a lot of explaining to do in the next couple episodes. It's, I know it's all just tutorial stuff. It's just introductory. Quick, this way! Haha! <laughs> Phew! What a bunch of loons! Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? I think that sounds good. Um, I know I I apologize if I I think I did a pretty good job explaining all that stuff, but I'll get into more detail of all that stuff. When we get to it, all right. Let's just go through this door. Uh huh? Well, that's not really a door. It's more of an entryway. But who cares? Stop! <clears throat> Man, my voice is gonna hurt me after this. Voice acting is crazy. Where'd they go? Huh? You, Johnson? Did you see them? Did anyone? <clears throat> and nobody knows. Ugh, crud! They bolted. That is not the voice I thought I was going to give Lord Crump at all, to be honest with you. <laughs> but it's the voice he's going to stick with, so whatever. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. Haha, <laughs> we got kissed by all the ladies. My name's Goombella. I'm a university at the... I'm, <laughs> I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. I'm a university. <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, who are you? Well, you don't know me. I'm the mess. I'm Mr. Mario. I'm Super Mario. You don't know me, Mario. Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Of course. Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I, I, so I should expect it. But sheesh, I'd never come to a place like this if it, if there weren't some legendary treasure here. And the light bulb hits. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 Bucko! What do you what you got there? I got a map. I'm cool. Oh my gosh! Is is isn't that a treasure map? You've got to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach, what? Great hoogly boogly, if it isn't, Master Mario! Oh, <laughs> oh god. Perfect coincidence, Bobby get to another in this sort of place. Hmm, ho ho! So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little bug? Hmm? Ah, indeed! Princess Peach sent you a letter in her treasure map? And she told you that she meets you here in Roadport? Intriguing! You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Hmm, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town that requires fossil fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished! You know how strong she is, Mario. I just assume she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I have been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. Hmm. But I feel better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. 
But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps? In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP heart points running low. Just drop in, in! Ho ho! <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of the town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Hoof for sure. Hoof for sure. Um, Princess Peach, does he mean like Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Well, if she did that, she'd get caught and kidnapped by something stupid, like she always does. I mean, come on. That's kind of obvious. Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him in your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great. We're all good, then. Let's go, Mario. And this is the introduction of... A party member! Yay. Goombella joined the party! That was a little delayed happiness right there, but whatever. Goombella's abilities are primer. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rogueport Plaza. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's Goomba the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Yeah, I did, but unfortunately I'm not going to be using this ability as much as you think I am, because it's just as useful- it's just like Goombario's ability, which I never use, either. Goombelia can give you hints where she answers, when she answers, so ask her for information often. And of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle, too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk, she can also look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her title ability, and this is going to be obsolete as well because my version of bioing enemies will be better than yours, so I apologize. So I don't feel like titling every enemy in the game for, for a bio, so. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Princess, <laughs> Princess <laughs> Professor Frankly looks like. And on that note of us starting the game off and getting to this awesome character and finding Professor Frankly, I think we're going to end this video off here. So, the, the next time on Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, we will go find Professor Frankly and, and we get him to tell us what he knows about this treasure map that we got. Alright? Uh, yes, I hope you guys are looking forward to this LP because I sure am. I will see you guys next time.